Capital City Productions, which is based out of Jefferson City. They do big theater performances, yeah. like musicals. They've done Sweeney Todd. Uh, they've done Shrek the Musical. They've done A Christmas Story. Big productions. Yeah. And they do dinner theater style up in Jefferson City. And an old church is where they used to be. And our local, Adam and Kendra Shields, who you know have won Best Actor and Best Actress in the state of Missouri, they've starred in many of those performances. And good news announced, Capital City Productions is headed to the Lake of the Ozarks with professional live entertainment. They'll be opening a second theater venue in Osage Beach, and guess where it's going to be? Where? Where is this going to happen? At the 1,000-seat Main Street Music Hall, wow. which was the favorite source of entertainment here at the lake for decades. Of yep. course, that is... Uh, part of Blair's Landing from the Blair's family. It's, of course, located off Main Street. Um, they're going to provide high-quality live entertainment for thousands and probably even more like millions over the years, conventioners, bus tours, and meeting attendees. Uh, their plans, Chris, to move forward and reopen Main Street Music Hall yep. is going to happen soon. They're planning for shows this summer. Local musicians, actors, artists, carpenters, and other volunteers will have the opportunity to work and interact with these professionals. And so they're going to have theater camps for young people who are interested in the arts and theater moving forward. And uh, this is huge because when you talk about the climate of theater and arts and museums, and I'll tell you what, it is growing fast. And with the lake growing, this is a much needed entity and something as iconic as Main Street Music Hall. Yeah. To have somebody come in with this track record, these resources, this talent, uh, really exciting for the lake. And one thing they said, the entirety of the landing, it is the vision of the Blair family, which has been searching and being selective about the right group to come in and open the doors of this theater again. And a Capital City production spokesperson said that the theater company is so honored that the Blairs feel that their theater is worthy of the privilege privilege to bring live theater back to the lake in their venue and is committed to living up to the trust and support. And I will say again, if you don't know about Capital City Productions, I've seen three of their large performances Hard to beat, incredible, and I am so excited about them coming to the lake. Yeah, I'm excited about this too. It's one of the kind of the areas that we're missing here at the Lake of the Ozarks. You know, I mean, you go to Branson, they've got this all over the place. That Correct. is Branson, you know. Uh, and, and we're obviously a different place. Uh, we operate a lot differently, but we don't really have that element. So hopefully with them coming in that they can do it right and and uh, be successful at it and give us back that, that nice element that we, and if, you know, if they're doing uh, classes with the kids and stuff like that, that would just be, That'd just be so great. It's worth noting that for all of us here in the community, whether you're business, whether you vacation here, whether you're full-time, that's a, a big deal. and It's important that you support them and, and go attend their grand openings and their events. And if they need volunteers, I mean, attend that and support them because mm -hmm. the more of us that can get together and uh, synergize, the, the better. And that's one I want to see succeed, and Absolutely. I imagine it will.